I recently published the book Play to Potential, published by Penguin, where I talk about leading a multi-dimensional life and introduce the framework flavor. The cover of the book has multiple hats that somebody is juggling. And when I think of somebody who's really good at juggling multiple hats, the first name that comes to mind is my friend Vineet Panchi. I met Vineet when I was at Agon Zender. He'd come to facilitate a leadership offsite for us. But over the years, he's turned into a friend and we've done some leadership work together as well. Vineet is a graduate in hotel management from IHM Pusa. But over the years, has had careers in HR, marketing, communication, storytelling, leadership development, facilitating workshops, and so on. He's really well known for his poetry and has a very ardent following in YouTube. And he's currently consumed by a movement called the Jai Hind Project, which was inspired by Matt Langdon, who used the quote, the opposite of hero is not a villain, it's a bystander. Vineet is currently on a mission to amplify real life stories, not real life stories, and really give us the heroes that we deserve. So Vineet is a great exemplar of not wearing our identities too closely, being very nimble footed, and really not being shackled by the past when it comes to reimagining our future. Without further ado, let's dive into my conversation with Vineet Panchi. Vineet, it's a real delight to uh, get into this conversation with you. We've spoken many times over the last several years. Uh, but it's wonderful to have you in this series uh, around equally, leading a flavorful life. Equally, Deepak Paji, I mean, uh, how wonderful to finally get back on the screen with you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think I've told you this many times, but for the purpose of listeners, mm. when I was moving out from Egon Zender, even the, the notion of focusing on transitions as a theme initially, I think, came through when I spent a couple of days with you in Dehradun. Mm. You know, that's mm. when... Uh, Mm. That's when I think uh, I've I'd read a lot about what nature can do to you, but I think spending <laughs> those two three days with you and your team, I think gave me clarity on what I had to do at that time. So so in I'm, glad. Ways, I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad. तुम्हारी अब जिंदगी में कुछ भी होता रहे you'll have to go back to say hey शुरुआत यहाँ से हुई थी exactly exactly <laughs> the the seed is always yeah. precious. So yeah. Vineet, uh, before we dive in, uh, for the purpose of listeners, uh, you know, why don't you tell us? Your, a little bit around your current life context, what you do and why you do what you do, you know. And when I when I was preparing for this conversation, I was singing of this, uh, I was uh, remembering this song from the movie Sound of Music. Mm. And, you know, there's a, the opening which song, which is, how do you describe Maria? How do you pin it down, right? Uh, you know? <laughs> so, so uh, how, uh, do you pin, how do you pin down a Vineet Panchi who's a oh. bird? So I'd love for you to maybe talk a little bit about your current context. And then I'd love to uh, go back in time. Sure. Uh, I mean, I'll eventually come to what I do now and why I do it. But, uh, you know, I'm 50 now when we are recording this close to that. And uh, <clears throat> I divide my life into, I think, decades. Mm-hmm. So I, I grew up uh, uh, in a place called Machi Bazaar in there. My family was a typical... रिफ्यूजी फैमिली तो दो तीन जनरेशन तो यार सेटल होने में लग जाती है इन लोगों को आई वॉज एक्सट्रीमली लकी बिकॉज माई फादर आउट ऑफ आई मीन दी ट्वेंटी थर्टी हाउसेज इन दैट मोहल्ला हैड द विजडम टू सेंड बोथ माई सिस्टर एंड आई टू एजुकेशन दैट ही थॉट वी डिजर्व एंड टफ एट दैट टाइम दैट आई थिंक रियली हेल्प अस मूव आउट ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ फैमिलीज वी केम फ्रॉम एंड द काइंड ऑफ फिलोसॉफिकल paradigms that we could kind of you know construct for ourselves mm-hmm. um that moved into and my father was an alcoholic so i'm giving you this background because all of these things make a huge difference to the choices that i've made mm-hmm. so when when i was growing up i think i i had to be the elder of the house without really mm-hmm. knowing whether i'm ready or not and i was just pushed into it and the simple examples are किसी का इंतकाल हो गया है उनकी प्रेयर मीटिंग है उनका चौथा है यू नो उसमें रिप्रेजेंट करने कौन जाएगा सो अर ओल्ड इज सेंड एंड आई थिंक इन माई ओन माइंड आई स्टार्टेड टू बिलीव कि मैं ये हूं तो एंड माई सिस्टर वॉज यंग सो यू नो शी सुंदर लड़की है मोहल्ले में रहते हैं बाहर निकलते हैं एक तो वो साथ में दिस होल 
thing kind of pushed me into believing that this family will finally require me. And the only way to be able to move out of our circumstances and is to make loads of money. So, kisi bhi tarikhe se bas paise kamane. So, when you don't have, you know, whatever you think is what you need is what you go after. Is the answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The other crucial moment in my life is that when I was in class twelve, my uncle used to be a percussionist, and I was so fond of him because I saw this rock star kind of guy who. Had broken out of the family mold of sarkari naukri karni hai scientist. As a as a professional thing. percussionist or as <laughs> a... he was. I mean, he worked for a bank, but he he gave Achha. up all his promotions and everything to continue to be a professional. He used to run a band in there, alone. and I was so fascinated by him because I thought my father was boring. My father was this. He would go to work. He would come back. He would wear a safari suit. He would drive a scooter, ride a scooter, and he would always talk chemistry or he will talk mm. things that were. It's not really interesting to a teenager, right? And here's Understood. my chacha, who's uh, you know talking music, and he's talking Def Leppard, and he's talking uh, whatever you know at that yeah. Pink Floyd, and I had no idea what these things meant, but he knew, and he had these mm-hmm. cassettes and LPs, and he would play once in a while, and I'd be so enamored. So one day I told my chacha, chacha, I'd like to figure out a way to sing. <laughs> anyway, so why I'm telling you this story is because I did end up joining his band without telling my father. And when my father discovered um, that I had not just joined his band, but that I had been a regular and I had been playing regularly in Dehradun, is when uh, my I, I think we started my BSc or something, and there was a practical that I had to attend. And my father happened to be the invigilator of it because he was the local ONGC geochemistry <laughs> kid. So the local college would invite him to be the whatever viva lene ke liye or jo bhi hota hai. And he says, oh, I, I know that my son is in this class. And he says, oh, he's not coming. He's not coming. Who? So anyway, so the day I went back, May Queen Paul was going to Masuri, and we were playing there. And the practical was down practical. And actually, when I went back, he said, you're doing BSc. I said, yes, I'm doing it. And we were going to go back. So, I didn't know that we were going to go to Osho Resort, and we were going to go to the evening there. So anyway, that evening was interesting because he then said, "Hey, you have a choice. So you can continue to play in the band, or you can, uh, you know, focus on what." I said, "No, then of course I'll focus on the band." So he he allowed me to take my वो काली वाली दूध वाली साइकिल होती थी ना इसपे बस उसके पीछे आए you know kind of carrier पे अपना बस्ता लगा के and I moved out and my mom's crying and everything all wow. that drama happened so I I moved out of the house and I actually never went back to his house ever in life. Seriously. So, well, wow. Then, I was 16 or 16 and a half at that time, and then I stayed out. वो थोड़ी बहुत सिगरेट पीनी शुरू कर दी किसी ने बीयर पीनी सिखा दी. And who did, who did you live with at that age? Who did you live with? Well, I was I was making about 70, 75 rupees plus chow mein plus a bottle of beer every day. So you know the way this works is अगर तुम किसी के रेस्टोरेंट में बजा रहे हो, so the guy is supposed to give you That's band the currency. Oh, <laughs> एक बियर कुछ ग्रेटफुल फॉर दैट टाइम आई मीन आई 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 डिस्कवर्ड रात को पुलिस वालों को कैसे हैंडल करते हैं एक बजे शो खत्म होगा आई वॉज थ्रोन इन टू स्टफ दैट आई वॉज इन रेडी फॉर बट बिकॉज आई सो एवरी वन एज डूइंग इट एंड आई वॉज अजली करप्टेड टीन एजर मतलब आई न्यू द दुनिया दारी ऑफ लिविंग इन उस समय यूपी था हमारा उत्तराखंड नहीं था तो आई एम ग्रेटफुल फॉर दैट टाइम बिकॉज You were invincible. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't think about oh my god, पढ़ाई का क्या होगा, सो क्या होगा? You're making money, making while everyone else is going to college, you're working in a band. You know, mm-hmm. That's another mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Anyway, उसके बाद फिर मेरे साथ के जितने लड़के थे, वो मेरे तीन बहुत करीबी दोस्त एनडीए गए थे, एक बहुत ही करीबी दो, दो करीबी दोस्त आईटी गए थे. So you know, I came from the right lot. It's not like mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. when you say you was in there. And when I discovered कि तो सब चले गए और छोटा सा शहर तो हर आदमी पूछे कि भाई हाजी डॉक्टर कमल नैन के आप बेटे हैं आप क्या कर रहे हैं हाजी मैं तो बैंड में गाता हूँ जी और मेरे को बड़ी शान से यू नो समी वुड रियली अप्रिशिएट मी और फिर जिस नजरों से देखा जाता था कहा यार एक साल हो गया आई मस्ट फिगर आउट वे टू गेट आउट ऑफ देहरादून तो दी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ लिविंग देहरादून वॉज नॉट टू रियली नो वेर आई एम गोइंग आई वेंट टू अ फ्रेंड मैंने कहा यार ये देहरादून से निकलना है भाई क्या करूँ दिल्ली में बहुत सारे कॉलेज लुक एट दी अमाउंट ऑफ इग्नोरेंस दैट वी हैड 
यू नो या तो हमें पता था कि यार ये आर्मी में चले जाते हैं या इंजीनियरिंग करते हैं और या फिर दिल्ली जाते हैं सारे लड़के तो वेन यू टोल्ड मी दिल्ली चला जाए मैंने क्या मैं करूंगा क्या कहते देख आज सुबह ना होटल मैनेजमेंट का ये एड निकला है ये भर दे ये बहुत आसान होता है तूने थोड़ी बहुत इंजीनियरिंग की तैयारी की थी ना यू विल क्रैक दिस एंड आई डेट मतलब मैं तो होटल मैनेजमेंट करने इसलिए गया था बिकॉज दैट अपियर इन द पेपर एन आई वेंट तैयारी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मेरे नंबर नंबर भी ठीक आए थे इंटरव्यू में उन्होंने बोला कि आप क्या करते हैं जी मैं गाना गाता हूँ अच्छा गाना गा के सुनाओ मैंने गाना गा दिया सो यू नो आई एम श्योर देवर अच्छा पिताजी ने कॉलेज आने के पैसे देने से मना कर दिया तो वो तो मैंने बताया हुआ क्या कि जो वेन दिस होटल मैनेजमेंट थी बड़ी शर्म से माँ के पास जाके मैंने कहा जी अब तो कॉलेज हो गया है कितने पैसे चाहिए मैंने जी इतने हजार रुपए चाहिए एडमिशन कराना है तो नहीं सॉरी यू लेफ्ट होम तो अब दूसरा तरीका ये है कि एटलीस्ट आई एम श्योर यूज ट्राइंग टू गिव मी लेसन तो कहा एक काम कीजिए बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा जाइए वहां पर हमारे हम किसी को जानते हैं वो एजुकेशन लोन देते हैं सरकारी कॉलेज आपको एजुकेशन लोन मिलेगा Only thing I'm ready to do is become your guarantor. Because if you imagine, for education loan, के लिए भी उस ज़माने में guarantor से ही होता था भाई. Fair enough. Very good. Anyway, my father became a guarantor. कि ये नहीं pay करेगा, तब मैं pay कर दूँगा. तो तीन साल हमने hotel management किया. और क्योंकि दिल तो था नहीं. पैंतीस चालीस परसेंट attendance. कुछ cultural program. कुछ ये उसकी पंद्रह बीस परसेंट attendance और मिलती थी. वो पचास के ऊपर वो कहते थे अच्छा तुम्हारा साल pass हो गया. वो करते करते तीन साल निकले जब सब लड़कों की अच्छी अच्छी प्लेसमेंट होगी हमें भाई साहब प्लेसमेंट मिली निरुलास में आइसक्रीम काउंटर and i'm a management trainee and i'm i'm sure they had some sense of what a management trainee program is i lasted there for about 15 days and gave away a lot of free ice cream so they also asked me to leave but that's another story to maine wo join kiya and wahan pe kaam karte karte mujhe samajh mein aa gaya ki yaar i had to repay bank of baroda some 22 2300 rupees a month on nirulas ki tankha 2700 rupees thi yaar अब मतलब पहला महीना आया इमेजिन कि मेरे को पता है कि इस महीने के एंड में ना मुझे पांच सौ रुपए बचे मैनेजमेंट कॉलेज थ्री इयर्स तो ये तो मुझे पता था कि बॉस ये ये बस मिल गई है की फंडिंग सो समी वॉक इन टू आर स्टोर एंड जो भी वट एवर द्रांजेक्शन वॉज एंड चैप आस मी यू नो कैन टॉक विद मी अदर देन giving him ice creams i said kya baat karni hai so yaar we are launching a new brand in india and we are looking for people to work for us would you be interested in working for retail i said look i i have no idea we can no 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 you don't have to we'll train and there's no structure this was a customer business. who walked in the door yeah yeah, yeah. angrez uh, yeah, yeah fancy big guy 6 foot 3 gora. sporty gora i don't know if he was german but he was definitely european not american Understood. And very sporty, and I the only thing I spotted is that he was wearing really fancy sport mm. apparel. Mm. I mean, मुझे याद है उस समय रिबॉक के नकली जूते गफार मार्केट में मिलते थे और उसमें पहने हुए थे मैंने कहा नकली. Anyway, then he said that look, I work for Reebok. I said, but there's no Reebok in India. You work for Reebok? No, no, no. We are launching in India. Wow. Okay, then then he said immediately uh, called me a few days later. Which which year is this? Out of curiosity, because this is ninety five. This ninety five. Okay, ninety nine. Uh, June, July. Uh, okay, okay. 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 Okay.
whatever the uh, mm. foreign investment policy at that time was. So they had tied up with another shoe company called Phoenix. And anyway, we got together. Right. We were called Reebok. We would wear Reebok. But the payroll was an Indian subsidiary tie up with Phoenix or something. So the next 15 days, we left the rulers and joined Reebok. Or whatever it was. And we were the first manager of Reebok. रीबॉक के पहले स्टोर मैनेजर इंडिया में और हमारी तनख्वाह सीधा हो गई तीन चार गुनी अरे भाई यार कमाल है यार ये लोग बेवकूफ हैं यार इनको पता ही नहीं है कि यार कितने पैसे दे रहे हैं दे ऑफर एट द काउंटर अ बेस्ड ऑन नो 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 आई मीन देयर वाज अ प्रोसेस दे कॉल्ड अस ओवर द नेक्स्ट वीक और सो 15 डेज आई डोंट रिमेंबर नाउ बट विद इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ और सो आई वाज मेकिंग मोर मनी देन एनीवन इन माय बैच एंड यू नो एक दो बिचारे लड़के जिनको नौकरियां नहीं मिली थी उनको भी मैंने कहा कोई बात नहीं तुम मेरे साथ रह लो आई कैन अफोर्ड जब तक तुम्हें नौकरी नहीं मिलती Hey, it was fun. Anyway, I spent a couple of years at the store. There were more stores open. Then they said, you know, Delhi as a region, would you manage? So I went to the so-called corporate office in Noida. Pardon me. Um, I managed Delhi. Then there was this whole franchising happening. So they said, would you like to go and open franchises? So I did it in Indore. He said, "Karne lag gaya." And um, yeah, that was the start. And then um, I I had a girlfriend in college. वंदना और क्या के रीबॉक जब मैंने ज्वाइन किया एंड वी वर क्वाइट स्टडी आई मीन वी वर वी वर स्वीट हार्ट्स फ्रॉम कॉलेज तीन साल गुजारे थे और यू नो शादी करेंगे वो करेंगे जितना एक बीस इक्कीस साल के लड़के को पता होता है एंड शी अनफॉर्चुनेटली मेट विद एन एक्सीडेंट वेरी ट्रेजिक वन ट्रक हिट द बाइक फ्रॉम द बैक एंड अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड वॉज ऑल्सो माई रूममेट ही पास अवे ऑन स्पॉट एंड शी हैड टू बी टेकन टू हॉस्पिटल एंड Five months later, uh, you know, we we just couldn't save her, so she died, and that became a huge um, moment of trauma for me. And I, you know, as a young person, you don't know what is happening, so you 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 just want to run away and say, "Hey, yar, मुझे कुछ नहीं." So I went to उस समय जो placement consultants के office होते थे, list आती थी, resume में लेके गया. Anything out of Delhi, I'm fine. So. यार मैं कहानी लंबी तो नहीं सुना रहा नहीं इज दिस व्हाट यू वांटेड और नो नो आई थिंक वी कैन सी आई थिंक देयर इज नो टाइम लिमिट राइट आई थिंक द आईडिया इज टू आल्सो अंडरस्टैंड आई डू थिंक एज यू वर बिगिनिंग टू नरेट द पर्सनल लाइव्स एंड प्रोफेशनल लाइव्स आर इंटरटwined सो आई थिंक इट्स इट्स हेल्पफुल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई यू माइट हैव डन डिफरेंट थिंग्स एट आई आई डू इट इन ब्रीफ क्योंकि या मैं तो विजुअली सोचता हूं तो फिर मेरे को कहानियां सुनाने में भी लगता है वैसे एनीवे No, so I, I decided to move out of Delhi, spend some time in Lucknow selling artificial teeth to dentists, and a nice MNC US company. But the product was <clears> artificial <throat> teeth and consumer. This was sales, sales, huh? This was sales, yeah. So you pick mm. territory, travel, karo, go mm. more. Then, 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 Uh, again at uh, retail, uh, did some training in the US. Came back, set up the first retail, uh, Bose retail store in Connaught Place, along with family. Just with curiosity, team. just uh. curiosity. I mean, you spoke about your passion mm. for singing. Did mm. you have a, a sort of a space for that in your life as you were going through your journey? I think for the first few years, uh, college was continuously uh, engaging in terms of. वहाँ पे भी कुछ ना कुछ चलता रहता था. In fact, we did a rather large. Uh, Event when I was leaving college, and a lot of people still remember it. Uh, yeah, but it's always been something that would bring me back to Dehradun. Delhi was not mm. too far. Mm. Band was here. कोई मौका आता था, कुछ आता था, आ जाते थे. So you know, yeah. understood. Continue to have. Understood. Yeah. Got it. Sorry, you so, were talking about Bose. Huh. हाँ. तो Bose किया. Bose में हमें हमारी जो अब ex-wife है वो मिली. Uh, we were part of the same founding team. तो हमारा थोड़े देर उसी store पे romance चलता रहा. कुछ US में चला, कुछ यहाँ चला. अब वापस आए तो ज्यादा पता तो होता नहीं है जिस लड़की को आपने एक बार किस कर दिया आपको लगता है आपको उसी से शादी करनी है तो होल यू नो आई मस्ट बी बाय दैट टाइम तो वापस आया इनके रंजू उनका नाम है उनके फादर से मिले फौजी कर्नल उन्होंने हमारा इंटरव्यू शंटरव्यू लिया उसमें पास टाइप हो गए तो शादी शुदी हो गई बच्चा हो गया फिर बोस में हम दोनों काम करते थे तो उन्होंने कहा भाई के दोनों घर आके एक ही बातें करते हैं कुछ बोस में मेरी मेरे बॉस से भी हल्की सी खटखट होती रहती थी दिस इज गुड टाइम टू एक्सिट एंड एट दैट टाइम बीपीओज रियली लार्ज एंड पेइंग रियली गुड मनी एंड बोस वाज अ गुड ब्रांड टू गो फ्रॉम सो आई फाउंड अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोसेस विद इन जी जी वॉज द फर्स्ट यू नो कंपनी इन इंडिया जैकिस बोलते थे उसे दे लॉन्च 
So I went there, uh, joined a process which was uh, doing customer service for retail brands in the UK. And because I mm. came from kind of, you know, retail, I understood so I was taken in. Kiya, a company, um, uh, Chris Capital, I fund ki thi, ka mein founding mm. team. Mein tha. Wo teen, saal kaam kiya, kabhi chodi, kabhi aai, and this is the nature, what, what is the nature of the role? I know at some point you moved to HR. Operations right? initially, function. then mm. training, mm. Uh, okay. eventually HR, beech mein mein, uh, XLRI, ka wo kar liya tha, executive uh, post-graduation offer. Ho Understood. Tha. Understood. Part of the first batch or so. Achha tha, wo and they wanted people with some experience. Tab tak beti ho nice. I was probably one of the older guys there. Uske baad, phir, thoda sa tamga mil gaya, thoda seek liya, to HR mein move ho gaye, phir, interest because was I was coming from training, organization development, so it started mm-hmm. doing some leadership kind of work. Egon Zender yes. ke saad bhi baad mein karte yes. rahe. And that's when, so that's that's when we met, right? Phir, I was uh, remembering where we uh, met. That's where yeah, we met. Correct, yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. Phir, uh, when I was 35, so 15 years ago, I, 2009 is when I decided to move to Dehradun. Mm. And strange impulse, I company in a company. What was the I've never really worked for an Indian Lala company. Mm. And I came, last assignment before that was Carlson Wagon Lee Travel. I was the uh, country head HR. And uh, I was offered much more money than Carlson would have ever imagined giving me, even though from there I had to, uh, the next position was Singapore. What did I they do, Carlson? Sorry, just to... Carlson Wagonly is uh, Carlson Hotels, uh, Radisson's yes. Yes. country yes. in thank yes. God it's Friday. It's a very travel arm. So Achha. it's not as well known as American Express, but in that year we did more business than American Express. So the counters that you have for travel uh, work, within organizations, Understood. you know, like the back end travel management company. Understood. So, uh, yeah, a couple of thousand people in India. Fantastic uh, mm-hmm. team there. I had mm-hmm. huge fun there. But anyway, I didn't know that I was going to tell you my mindset was that the money you give me, I will go there. So, I was honestly, this whole vacuum that I had of feeling insufficient uh, right from my childhood. I, I thought could be filled with having more money and quickly getting this sense mm. of security. Mm. I think uh, it's a mistake. Uh, when mm. I look back, I say, well, you know, I should have stuck around. I've changed too many jobs for my own comfort. Mm. Um, always appeared as if I'm not loyal. So whilst I worked for a company, I would really work very hard and I would do great work and there's creativity and all that. But if you give me more money, I will run. And... Mm. Uh, I regret it now, uh, but usse mujhe lagta tha ki, listen, you know, I can't even mm. explain to you why it's important for me because I have a younger sister, I have parents, my dad's, you know, what he is. So, makan bana and just, uh, along the way, I mean, out of curiosity, mm. if you're mm. comfortable sharing, Vineet, mm. as as you progressed in your journey, did the did the relationship with dad evolve? And, uh, and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, he's, now he's one of my best friends. We mm. still lock horns, but to very important time, pehle, but uh, I've, I've listened to that. I think the, I love the hmm. point that you make here. Maybe unke saman ho, ho raho aaj kal, bilkul, kind of stuff bilkul, like that. Yeah. Uh, exactly. The other thing it. is, you can't expect a young chap to understand why his father is an alcoholic. Hmm. Or even imagine that alcoholism is a disease. It's not like it, it is your father choosing to do it to you. Hmm. But the repercussions, and I, probably one day I want to talk about alcoholism and addiction and how it affects families and what can hmm. you do? Because my father is a one of the rare, um, you know, people who's come out of it. Hmm. So he's recovered and he, he he's very proud of the fact that he hasn't had a drink for almost two decades hmm. now. But hmm. the point is that it affects families in strange ways. And when it's... you're treating a a, a patient of alcoholism, you don't just need to treat the patient, or at least I believe that it should be a family that should go through counseling. So mm-hmm. my father recovered, but have I fully recovered from the trauma that my sister and mm-hmm. I and my mother would have gone through or other people, you know? Because little True. things like, you know, when you are little, you know, and you say that you are a shalabi, what happens is that you can defend it, you can give it to it, you can give it internalize kar sakte ho, but wo aapke dimaag se boss nikalta nahi hai. Hmm. Chot to reh jata hai. So hmm. you, you, you joke about it, you would 
you know to mm. i now understand it because i've read about it and i've done work and I've, you know I'm, we are a very very open family and we've normalized it to a point where my father also says ha yaar zindagi bhar ki pee chuka hu ab tum log piyo you know so i mean we have a drink in the evening mm. but i know that i know of enough people who haven't yet figured how to talk about it how to normalize it in families how to recover from their trauma and so on so forth mm. anyway mm. so kya yeah, pushu sir so got it so i think just to maybe bring it to today uh, panchi so you mm. spoke about mm. hr uh, carlson mm. wagner was it carlson mm. carlson uh, wagnerly yeah wagnerly sorry and if you can mm. sort of maybe cut it today uh, what do you do and uh, carlson wagnerly se wo bataya jo एक एल्केमिस्ट करके कंपनी ज्वाइन की थी वहां पे एक डेढ़ साल लगाया कल्चर वाज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम व्हाट आई केम फ्रॉम आई केम फ्रॉम अ टिपिकली अमेरिकन कल्चर फर्स्ट नेम बेसिस वेरी ओपन हियर आई आई डेंट इवन रियलाइज आई वाज स्टेपिंग ऑन अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल्स फीट इंक्लूडिंग द जेंटलमैन हु ओन दैट कंपनी केरी सिंह एंड मेरे को पता था कि यहां मैं ज्यादा दिन लास्ट नहीं करूंगा बिकॉज और उस समय ये हो रहा था कि इफ दिस इज द पैटर्न आई हैव दैट आई डोंट रियली लाइक यू नो आई लाइक फ्रीडम सो मच दैट आफ्टर अ वाइल एवरी कंपनी स्टार्ट्स टू बिकम अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ यू नो स्पेस की कमी लगने लगती थी मुझे तो एट दैट टाइम माय चाचा द सेम चैप दैट आई वर्क फॉर ही ही केम टू मी आई आई वाज इन गुड़गांव एट दैट टाइम सेड यार आई एम वर्किंग ऑन दिस आईडिया आई वांट टू स्टार्ट देयर अनोंस फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड क्लास स्टूडियो and i don't have all the money would you like to contribute and suddenly a bulb went up and i said chacha you don't know how to really take it national international whatever mere dimag mein mm-hmm. bhi use aa raha hai mujhe lagta hai tha bahut kuch kar sakte hain done a few business plan but like why don't i also come and instead of just giving you money i'd like to come and run it mm-hmm. he jumped at it and i just moved to there to phir wow. humne there dun mein pehla um, acha mehanga बढ़िया वाला स्टूडियो बनाया बॉम्बे से लोग आए यू नो स्प्रिंग बोर्ड फ्लोर्स एंड द राइट इक्विपमेंट राइट मॉडल यू नो दोस काइंड ऑफ थिंग जो भी समय अवेलेबल एंड वी लॉन्च्ड इट तो वहां से हमारी जर्नी सो रियली आई डिवाइड माय लाइफ इनटू प्री देहरादून मतलब बिफोर कमिंग टू देहरादून अगेन 2009 एंड व्हाट हैपेंड आफ्टर दैट एंड एवरीथिंग चेंज आफ्टर दैट माय रिलेशनशिप विद माय सेल्फ विद माय वाइफ विद द वर्ल्ड विद द वे आई सॉ मनी द वे आई Uh, मुझे याद है जब मैं दीपक देहरादून आया तो मैं तनख्वाह जो पाता था वो अगले साल मैंने पूरे साल में नहीं कमाई एक महीने की तो दिस दिस टाइम व्हेन आई आई टू हैव एन ओपल एट दैट टाइम और दो तीन चार महीने में वाज नॉट टू मच बिजनेस कमिंग कोई हमें धंधा नहीं दे रहा था और हमने स्टूडियो तो खोल दिया लेकिन कोई आने को तैयार नहीं था तो So this was meant to support musicians that want to record, give them a space yeah. and give them a space for them to record, and uh, you know some professionals so that you could be able to how record karo. But I don't think we had a culture there. I mean, later we mm. decided to create products of our own, jingles and other things. But yes. uh, before that, we were just a space. Mm. Uh, so I think four or five months later, and I had a few people that I'd hired, and they were giving me money, and they were. i had naturally overspent on making the studio and there was no cash flow coming in to agle din mujhe shayad 70 80 hazar rupaye lakh rupaye chahiye tha tankhaye dene ke liye aur paise the nahi there was no cash to main mere jis garage mein main jata tha us mechanic ne kabhi bola tha ki yaar kabhi bhi aapko opel astra deni ho to mujhe de dena main aapko iske 80 hazar rupaye de dunga to main usko bas gaya maine kaha yaar wo to keh raha tha ye rakh le yaar i had another scorpio or ye sab तो कहता सर आज तो साठ ही मिलेंगे <laughs> कमी में <laughs> करता मरता क्या करता मैंने उसको साठ हजार रुपए में यू नो दीज दीज बिकम माइलस्टोन्स फॉर यू तो अगले दिन मैं सुबह अमित माय पार्टनर इन जिंगल्स नाउ इन जिंगल अमित कृष्ण यस उसके बाद गया मैंने कहा अमित ऐसा है आज इस महीने ना तो थोड़ा कम लेना बाकियों को दे देते हैं क्योंकि मेरे पास साठ हजार रुपए है एंड द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग दीपक Uh, I walked from my office to uh, where I lived in Dehradun. I mean, lagatar rote ve gaya yar. मतलब as an adult to be crying on the road while walking. I was just like, "What did you do? What 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 did you do? These these are crazy times. 
Mm-hmm. And I would never go back to working for anyone else now, even mm-hmm. though I, I still make less money than I used to 10, mm-hmm. 15 years ago. Well, mm-hmm. The sense of freedom, the ability to decide which path you're going to take, these are just crazy pluses of you know being on these kinds of things. Sure. I think the, the, the one thing that strikes me, Vineet, is we met, must have been around 2013-ish, maybe. Uh, mm-hmm. I was in Agon Center between 2010 and 16. Maybe yeah. on the third year, fourth year, You'd yeah. have uh, you done an offsite in Jaipur. Mm-hmm. I think we'd done two, three mm-hmm. offsites together with you, right? Goa, if Kerala, not, if Jaipur, not what, yeah. no, exactly. Yeah. Correct, correct. Mm-hmm. So I remember, uh, and and sort of we've been in touch since then. And you've sort of been through a, if I may say, a personal journey of maybe discovery, transformation, metamorphosis, Joby Kello, right? I think it's hard to put a word to these things. But talk to us about that because I've seen you get into poetry. I've seen you get into. And I, clearly, I see a patriotic theme coming through some of these things. You've done a movie for the IMA, I remember. Now you're doing the Jaihan project. Um, you've you've been through some. You've made some choices on the personal front. So I mean, I just feel that generally, the last decade, if not maybe a, a decade or plus, fifteen years, has mm-hmm. been a journey of discovery and transformation. Just talk talk to us about a little bit of that journey of self awareness and uh, discovery, if you will. Right, the inner journey in the last several years. Hmm. No, I'm glad you bring that up. And I think our external world and our manifestations are uh, really uh, byproducts of what's happening inside. Hmm. Or hopefully they should be. In terms of integrated people, at least. Uh, I think two things changed for me when I came to the other one. My need to prove to the world that I can make money went down drastically. Hmm. Then I wanted to go back to that kid who couldn't become a musician. And I hmm. said, yeah, maybe I need to raise that kid again. Hmm. That is, I think, what I was trying to do initially through uh, that studio and jingles and making films and all that. Hmm. But the way I wanted to do it is, that creative hai, and they will end up doing courses and work mm. and think that selling the soul uh, uh, absolutely the mm. pehla idea ye tha ki dehradun ja ke na ek social entrepreneurship banayenge jahan pe ye jitne ladke lagte hain inko ikattha karke chote chote group banate hain fir sochenge unko monetize kaise karna mm. and that's what happened really over the next i mean i've made a lot of mistakes in choosing partners sometimes i have to be political sometimes you know you find right wrong people some last but besides that i think the We've been able to raise a lot of young people to become entrepreneurs and not leave their passion hmm. for a vocation that they would have not been happier. But there are some hundreds, some hundred, two hundred kids who have gone through our stable. Hmm. And, and now when you they, say stable, uh, what what exactly do you mean? I mean, which our our jingles started, so there were a lot of musicians. Then we made a UK zero seven film. We made it. At least, at least, at least, at least, at least, सीखा कैमरा एडिटिंग वो अब उन्होंने कोई अपनी कंपनियां बना ली मेरे जो एक्स पार्टनर हैं बी स्प्लिट यू अच्छा सो इन अ वे यू सेट अप अ अ सॉर्ट ऑफ अ बिजनेस वेयर यू वुड गेट क्लाइंट्स एंड थ्रू द प्रोजेक्ट्स यू गॉट यू गॉट यू ट्रेन दीस पीपल एंड दीस पीपल ग्रो ऑन द जॉब इज दैट अ फेयर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑनेस्टली आई डिडंट नो फिल्म मेकिंग आई मीन आई डिडंट ट्रेन एनीवन ऑल ऑफ दीस पीपल न्यू अ लिटिल बिट किसी को एडिटिंग आती है किसी को कैमरा आता है किसी को फिल्म आती है लेकिन इन तीनों को मिला के OLX के पास ले जाना या BMW hmm. के पास ले जाना या ओरियन सीमेंट के पास ले जाना आई थिंक आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू से यार किसी तरह से ये जो टीम्स हैं ये देहरादून में रह के काम कर सकते सो आई टुक ऑन द रोल ऑफ द सेल्स एंड मार्केटिंग एंड फ्रंट एंडिंग रिलेशनशिप मैनेजमेंट एंड दी अदर थिंग आई वॉज वेरी श्योर ऑफ वॉज दैट आई कॉन्ट बी अ लाला आई वॉज ऑलवेज ऑन अ सैलरी माई सेल्फ आई वुड ऑलवेज यू नो मतलब प्रॉफिट लेते थे कभी कभी बट नॉट लाइक टिपिकल लाल ऐसा नहीं कि हमने कोई कैपिटलिस्ट तरीके से कंपनियां चलाई दे वुड ऑलवेज बी अबाउट ट्वेंटी थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ पीपल ऑन द बेंच सो टू से नॉट कम्प्लीटली रेडी फॉर वर्क बट विनीत आई जस्ट वॉन्ट ऑफ गो बैक टू द फैमिली कॉन्टेक्ट राइट यू वर मैरिड यू हैड अ डॉटर ग्रोइंग अप सम ऑफ दीज चॉइस कैन ऑल्सो पुट अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ स्ट्रेन ऑन द यू नो समेर इन दैट कॉन्टेक्ट वन इज सीकिंग स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ कैश फ्लोज एक्सेट्रा सो हाउ डिड यू रिकनसाइल दू हाउ हाउ डिड दैट प्ले आउट Now I failed in that year. Um, I I couldn't reconcile it. So um, uh, I had, in whatever shape or form, promised my wife a certain kind of life. Because I'm, जो भी काम कर रहे थे, we were colleagues, we were doing well. I grew, she took care of the kid. 
you build a house in gurgaon and then suddenly i decided me ko to dehradun jana hai main ye karunga and i think what i didn't do at that time is consider whether she is aligned with my decision or not hmm. i mean even though she wasn't working but i think i should have given her the liberty of choosing the kind of life that she would have wanted hmm. in retrospect to aapko sab kuch theek dikhai dete that, that that i think was unfair to her anyway she followed me to dehradun and the other thing is where we come from i mean father is a you know colonel uthi hai badi hai usne kaam dekha hai dam ki tankhaon pe zindagi guzari hai main dekh raha hu main usse aake kahu ki yaar kyunki maine decide kar liya hai to tu bhi kar aise partner se ummeed to hoti hai ki wo chalega but i think it's unfair pooch ke karna chahiye so she was thrown into this rigmar role of struggles and making do with less and all that and i think that took a strain Uh, that strained our uh, hmm. relationship and took a toll. And I, I knew that when money comes back, uh, hmm. things would be okay. And it did come back. It came to a point where we were respectable again. I started doing OD work with uh, Amit hmm. Chaudhary, uh, with hmm. Commander Sir, Dada, and things stabilized to a level that our lifestyle was almost equal to what we had in Gurugram. After a few years, we made a house. And but in my mind, what had happened is that. because i went through that trough in my life alone mm-hmm. where my wife wasn't really partnering with me as much mm-hmm. uh, i had developed a sense ke ye thodi si na fair weather friendship type ki hai matlab whenever i'm back everything is fine but when i'm struggling i struggle alone that never left me mm-hmm. so even i mean we built a fantastic house in there the right next to a hill and it is a forest and all that i think वो डिफरेंस आने लग गया था वी वर मूविंग अपार्ट रादर क्विकली एंड दैट नेचुरली देन यू नो एक दिन कोई ना कोई आता है एंड माइनर इंस्टेंसेस घर में झगड़ा ये वो बट आई थिंक आई न्यू के मुझे इस रिलेशनशिप से अब निजात चाहिए एंड शी इड आल्सो ग्रोन यू नो क्वाइट सिक ऑफ मी आई थिंक एंड बट वी डिड इट ऑनरेबली इतनी बुरी हाल में भी नहीं किया मतलब हमने इज्जत से जो भी हम कर सकते थे मकान डिवाइड किया शी गॉट लाइन शेयर आई थिंक शी डिजर्व इट बिकॉज लाइफ स्टाइल दैट शी हैज टू मेंटेन तो यू नो एंड एंड लकीली शी इज फाउंड अनदर पार्टनर शी इज मूव डाउन एंड वी बोथ हैप्पी इज यू नो दोस कैन थिंग्स एंड आई कैन टॉक अबाउट इट नाउ बिकॉज इट्स बीन अ फ्यू इयर्स हम्म and also uh, i think uh, the other theme that that uh, that stood out for me when i observe you uh, It's just uh, you. Just sort of uh, you're one of those people that speak the truth right uh, to the face in a in a good way. I mean, there are I see a lot of people that sort of uh, you know they think something on the inside, they say something on the outside, but somehow I've always experienced you as somebody who says things the way it is, whether it's you know the work we've done together or whether the offset or regards it or otherwise, and. Uh, and i think at some stage i mean i go back to the point about self awareness right I, i i also realize in my work that finally we just need to recognize who we are and make choices in line or oh, dissonance varna it just eats at us right i think uh, yeah. i can't be somebody else you you touched upon this uh, briefly uh, vinit first of all sorry before i go there thank you for sharing uh, uh, i sincerely appreciate uh, it is a very personal mm-hmm. and a very sensitive topic yeah, so okay. <laughs> thank you yeah. um you spoke about passion right i think uh, uh doing this uh, to ensure that youngsters are given an opportunity to pursue their passion and not uh, uh, abandon it too soon what's been what's been your talk to us about your journey of just staying in touch with what you love right whether it's singing whether it's something else mm-hmm. how have you found space for it in the in the various things and 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 you know if you look at life today you know i i i find it helpful to understand what what uh, element of what people do today energizes them right because i i come across people where most often they are drained by the day right and they just looking for a recharge but some people get energized by the day because they doing what they love so i'd love your uh, experience with that much um the context within which we must talk about this deepak is where do we come from what is our educational system mm. what are the expectations from us and hence how do we structure our mind and heart in a way that we can survive through this mm. so 
naturally all of us are passionate about something or the other. Yes. And our education system does contribute to dulling it to a large extent because uh, ye banna hai, ye karna hai, ye pitaji chaate, whatever. You know, so we know the system. I think I was lucky that my influence influence was very low. So I didn't have to rebel because there was nobody watching me. So I think that if my pitaji was more available and they were saying to me that you should do this, then I might not have been able to do what I do. Hmm. Because, <laughs> pardon me, I didn't have anyone watching over me. I just continued to do what I love. I see more struggles in the rest of And passion to keep it I think there is no stage. Nahi hai. Uh, hamari risk taking ability kam hoti jati hai jaise jaise hamara parivar hamare bacche hamari zaroorte hamari myomatic challenge ke sabko dikhana hai wo badhta jata hai i think i've just been lucky man hmm. ke mere jo risk the uska sara fayda nuksan mera apna tha hmm. to wo relationship pe hua health pe hua kabhi paise pe hua credibility social credibility tera title nahi hai ab ye kar raha hai ab kaam mein bade ho I'm just lucky that I don't have to ask a lot of people about what I should do or care about, uh, you know, what they would think about me. You say, what a fayda hua hai mujhe. Lekin, maine ye dekha hai ke aksar logo ko passion ki jo definition hai, wo thodi si skewed samaj mein aati hai. Unko lagta hai ke passion ek hobby ka bada version hai. What they don't realize is that we as mortals only have one chance at life and that it's going to go away very, very quickly. college, college, uncle uncle And it's a, I know a, that <laughs> If I may come in briefly, my son and I learn the guitar on Sundays, right? Uh, right. And the song we are looking to learn is uh, mm. It's My Life by Bon Jovi. Okay. Um, All right. Usme, there is a beautiful phrase. I just want to mm. live when I'm alive. You know, it's such Bilkul. a, sometimes Bilkul. when you listen to songs, Bilkul. a line hits you like Bilkul. a bazooka. I just want to live when mm. I'm alive. It's my life. Mm. Uh, and back to your Bilkul. point, right? I think, uh, I agree. Uh, sorry, you were talking about people's notion of passion being a little narrow. So, sorry, please continue. Okay. जिंदा रहने के लिए आपको और अच्छे से जिंदा रहने का मतलब क्या है क्या कि जाने से पहले हर पल जिंदा था जाने से पहले हर पल जिंदा था सुना है कमाल का बंदा था पॉइंट ये नहीं है पॉइंट ये है कि आर यू लिविंग फुली एंड इफ नॉट व्हाट इज इट आउट ऑफ लाइफ दैट यू आर गिविंग अवे मतलब हमारे अंबर साहब कहते हैं मुझे एग्जैक्टली तो मिसरा याद नहीं है कि जिंदगी में कितने दिन हैं ये भी है एक मसला हर एक दिन में जिंदगी कितनी है ये भी पूछिए अब मुझे ढंग से याद नहीं तो तुम्हें पता है कि तुम्हें ये पसंद है तुम्हें पता है तुम ये करना चाहते हो तुम्हें पता है कि आई थिंक लोग वहां अटक जाते हैं कि यार ये मैं करना तो चाहता हूं लेकिन इसके पैसे मिलेंगे नहीं मिलेंगे भाई शुरू में इतनी अक्ल लगानी पड़ेगी कि तुम इसको कैसे मोनेटाइज करोगे कैसे मार्केट पे लेके जाओगे अब पिताजी अगर सॉफ्ट रोड है तो तू कुछ भी कर सकता है बचपन से कर सकता है लेकिन अगर तू हमारी जैसी फैमिली से आए तो वक्त लगेगा बट व्हाट आर यू गिविंग अवे वंस यू आर ओल्डर यू गिवन अवे लाइफ इन परस्यूट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू थॉट वुड मेक यू कंफर्टेबल अल्टीमेटली तो सवाल एक ही रहता है ना एक मतलब मजा आया जीने में या नहीं आया और योर व्हाट हाउ यू स्पेंड योर डेज हाउ यू स्पेंड योर लाइफ तो तुम ये नहीं कह सकते कि मैं उस दिन एक दिन आएगा मैं करूंगा और फिर देखना मेरी लाइफ चेंज हो जाएगी नहीं होता है तब तक लाइफ ही निकल जाती है और जिस दिन ये समझ में आ जाए फिर आपको आसपास लगता है यार जो दुनिया कर रही है करने तो मैं हर एक को समझा नहीं सकता मुझे समझ में आ गया बस मैं ठीक हूं एंड देयर इज अ देयर इज अ लवली कोट राइट आई मीन टू 
coming alive you know mm. uh, I, i forget the exact quote now but it was about basically saying yeah find what makes you come alive and just go do it right something to yeah, yeah. that effect right and yeah yeah and the other quote exactly that, no, well, the other well, that comes to mind is uh, i i realize we have two lives mm. the second life starts when you discover that there's only one life <laughs> 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 you only have one uh, correct, correct 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 uh, i think uh, the other theme i wanted to explore with you panchi was this notion of purpose right again mm. uh, one of the reasons uh, i picked flavor as a metaphor uh, to mm. organize some of the ideas mm. in the book was i find that very mm. often ek guy is thrown as a north star for people but i tell people yaar agar aap dharavi mein ek traffic jam mein phase hue ho to showing you the north star is not going to help you right because life Definitely. doesn't account for the messiness Definitely. of life what's mm. been your experience with purpose at least my if i may throw in at least my headline i find that very often purpose emerges when you walk a path it's never a starting point what what mm. is your purpose is a bit like asking beta tum bade ho ke kya banoge right i find it almost as uh, you know uh, as vague and difficult as that what's been mm-hmm. your i mean clearly i see you as somebody um, who's purposeful uh, whether it's your uh, the, so. the the mm. the poetry that you write or the jaihind project you haven't still uh, maybe you should talk for a couple of minutes about the jaihind project that you're doing right mm. now we haven't mm. gotten to it yet mm. but i definitely in the last decade or so i've experienced you as somebody who's trying to lead a life beyond oneself definitely in the last 5 to 10 years so talk to us about a little bit of how how that's emerged for you oh ek to main मेरे साथ के जितने दोस्त एन डी गए थे मुझे उनसे बड़ी जलन होती थी क्योंकि तो सारे फौजी बन गए एंड देर इज नोन टू क्रिएट सोल्जर्स एंड वन ऑफ माई क्लोजेस्ट फ्रेंड्स अमित इज एक्चुअली शौर्य चक्र मैं उसको बहुत अदब से देखता हूँ मुझे लगता है कि यार भाई इसने जिंदगी में कुछ किया है कोई टेररिस्ट वेरिस्ट मारे हैं उसने बढ़िया से इन इन माई ओन माइंड आई और ये मैं पब्लिकली बोल तो रहा हूँ मैं बहुत दिनों तक झूठ बोलता रहा कि यार कोई मुझे रास्ते में अगर कोई पुलिस वाला पकड़ लेता कह रहा था यार मैं फौज से तो मुझे छोड़ देता तो मुझे पता था कि यार ये जो इज्जत मिलती है ना एंड आई थिंक आई लिंक दैट टू द नोशन एंड द बिलीव के द प्रूफ ऑफ ब्रेवरी इज इन बैटल आपने अगर रिस्क नहीं लिया आपने अगर औरों के लिए नहीं किया आपने वक्त आने पे एक्ट नहीं किया तो तुम सोल्जर नहीं हो दुकानदार हो ट्रेडर हो जो भी करते हो टीचर हो लेकिन द प्रूफ ऑफ ब्रेवरी इज ऑलवेज बैटल बट बैटल अगेंस्ट व्हाट तो आप युद्ध उसके अगेंस्ट करते हैं जिससे आपको तकलीफ होती दुश्मन वो होता है जो आपकी वैल्यू सिस्टम या आपकी बाउंड्री या आपके खिलाफ कुछ कर रहा होता है उससे आपको नुकसान है और मुझे मैं और मैं मतलब अब क्योंकि बुजुर्गी की तरफ अग्रसर हूं तो अब बोलते हुए नहीं शर्म नहीं आती लेकिन मैं सड़क पे यार पिटता हुआ था होता क्या था कि कुछ हो रहा है किसी ने कुछ वो किया मैं जाके उसे भिड़ जाऊंगा तुमने ये कैसे कर दिया तुमने वो कैसे छेड़ दिया तुमने वो कैसे कर दिया और वो शुरू में जब तुम्हारी बॉडी यंग है थोड़ी सी मसल मुसल भगवान ने दी तब तक तो तुम दो चार को भिड़ देते हो अंदर से हमें रियलाइज नहीं होता कि कब हमारे पास वो नहीं बचा तो मुझे क्या हुआ कि सीक्वेंस में दो तीन बार लॉन्डो ने देहरादून में गुड़गांव में पीटा और मुझे अचानक रियलाइज हुआ कि यार ये दिस होल ब्रेवरी का प्रूफ बैटल है ना इस फिजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन से कुछ और बनाना पड़ेगा लेकिन प्रॉब्लम अभी भी ये थी कि आसपास ना बहुत सारी चीजें लगातार परेशान करती थी यार ये क्यों हो रहा है गलत तरफ से क्यों आ रहा है इसको क्यों बोल रहा है चिल्ला बड़े मॉल में यहाँ पे सड़क पे तो मुझे याद है मैं एक बार मेरे घर के पीछे जब मैं इस पिटाई के बाद वापस आया मेरा चश्मा वश्मा टूट गया मतलब आई रियलाइज के आजकल के जो जवान लौंडे हैं वो अंकल टाइप के आदमियों पे हाथ छोड़ने से घबराना पीछे दारू पी रहे थे गाली गुली दे रहे थे कुछ कर रहे थे उनके पास गया पहले मैंने प्यार से बोला कि भाई यहाँ मत करो कॉलोनी वॉलनी उन्हें अब के कर लेगा तो अब वो केक मुझे समझ आना चाहिए था कि भाई ये तेरी जगह नहीं है पिटेगा और एनीवे anyway, तो जो हुआ से हुआ मैं पिट के वापस आया नॉट वेरी प्राउड ऑफ इट बट अब क्या करूं दीज थिंग्स आर माइलस्टोन्स इन योर लाइफ तो मैं वापस आया तो मैं कई दिन तक ये सोचता रहा कि यार ये तुझे बंद करना पड़ेगा लेकिन गुस्सा तेरे को आना कैसे बंद होगा इन चीजों 
तो I, I, at that time uh, also came across the whole idea of what heroism really means hmm. and it started to really become a large part of what i was thinking and reading and researching i mean i i, I went to this uh, uh, gentleman professor philip zimbardo at stanford mai unko likha kai din tak unke piche pada raha kitni mele likh dali mai please mujhse baat what does what does he do ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉलोजेशन प्रोजेक्ट वेर इज सेंग दैट वी need to talk to our people and our children specially around what everyday heroism is aur unke ek shagird hain jinka naam hai matt langdon uh, unse mera sampark hua and fantastic guy in fact the jain project is based on his one quote and the quote is the opposite of a hero is not a villain it's a bystander it's a profound kaise he maine ye suna deepak maine kaha all right i figured out so i was not being a bystander but if i can create a country hmm. jahan pe ke by standing is looked down upon to heroism apne aap badh jayega abhi tak mere hero ka jo ulta tha na wo ek bura aadmi tha ek evil aadmi tha aur main keh raha hu oh, jo bhi tamash bin hai wo hero nahi hai to mujhe kya karna hai mujhe tamash biniyat kam karani main sirf ye keh raha hu saab ki jab aapko kuch galat hote hue dikhe kuch to karo yaar jo hmm. kar sakte ho karo yaar jitna risk appetite hai utna karo yaar और hmm. जब आप कुछ करते हो तो खाली अपने लिए कर ही नहीं सकते अल्टीमेटली यू नो सोसाइटी अराउंड यू विल गेट अफेक्टेड तुम यार एक गंध का टुकड़ा भी उठाते हो सड़क से डस्टबिन में डालते हो यू अफेक्टेड तुमने hmm. गलत होते हुए देखा उसके बारे में कुछ किया औरों के लिए किया तुमने अपने लिए तो उठाया तो hmm. तेरी जरूरत है कि भाई मुझे कुछ करना है हीरो बनना है लेकिन तुमने अफेक्ट कर दी ना सो इफ दीज माइक्रो एक्शन कैन बी प्लांटेड इन द साइकी ऑफ आर कंट्री इफ आई कैन टेक यू टू स्कूल एंड कॉलेज एंड यंग पीपल there is a chance that we'll be able mm. to create a new definition of people because we grew mm. up on war right we we are that generation which had pehle 71 usse pehle 65 62 matlab hamare to usme tha na ki pakistan galat hai china galat hai ye yudh ho raha hai thoda bahut humne vietnam suna ye suna commando pad pad ke tum bade hue the correct hero is like a rambo rambo is like the hero yeah absolutely akela jayega kuch karega and if you can say heroism is a cultural manifest and that it can be taught and it doesn't need to go to a point where you sacrifice for your life for the country nahi mm. bhai to sacrifice mat kar bhai dekho mm. marne ki zarurat nahi hai dekho sirf itna karne ki zarurat hai jo tere haath mein and mm. i think that that uh, course that i did with matt langdon and he was my teacher in that actually you I went into that course sir wahan pe yeah yeah i i did a oh. course with him then i did an advanced course with him so i am i'm qualified to deliver that course now so what i did is instead of then just becoming another trainer to go to school i said yaar what is my strength you know our strength mm. is communication why mm. can't we make communication our activism mm. or usi dauran ye covid ho raha tha the this is all the last 2 3 years mm. covid mein kya hua deepak ke before covid i think we were a 70 75 people organization aur jo log nikal ke chale gaye hain wo alag hai but at that point we were about i think 60 65 70 i don't remember to ये सोशल आंटरप्रेन्योरशिप का सबसे बड़ा नुकसान ये है कि कैपिटलिस्ट होते तो कुछ पैसे बचाए होते हमें तो जो एक्स्ट्रा पैसे आते थे वो कहते सर ये मेरा भाई है ये मेरा दोस्त है सर इसको गाना आता है ये रैप करता है चल इसको भी सिस्टम के थ्रू डाल साल एक लगेगा पैसे देते सर देर ऑलवेज दिस थर्टी फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द रेवेन्यू डेट वेंट इन टू बॉयज दैट आई डोट नो कोई ग्राफिटी कर रहा है कोई स्टूडियो में बैठ के रैप कर रहा है कोई आता है कोई इट वॉज वर्किंग ऑल राइट कोविड में दो महीने में पैसे खत्म Hmm. यार ये तो बड़ी पंगा है सारा काम बंद हो गया है कोई इवेंट्स नहीं हो रहे कोई फिल्म नहीं बन रही जो पैसे लोगों ने देने थे वो भी आने बंद हो गए मोस्ट एम्बेसिंग टाइम आई हैड इन माय लाइफ इज दिस जूम की स्क्रीन जिस पे सारे के सारे हमारे लोग बैठे हुए और उनको कह रहा हूँ भाई मेरे पास पैसे नहीं और उसी से पहले मेरा डिवोर्स हुआ था उससे पहले मैंने बीवी को मकान बेच के पैसे दिए थे कुछ पैसे जो बचे थे वो मेरे पेरेंट्स का मकान मैंने बना दिया था तो मेरे पास एक्चुअली पैसे नहीं थे मतलब मेरे पास कुछ ऐसी चीज होती ना जो मैं बेच के सबको दे सकता था तो पहले किया ही है तो शायद मैं दे देता बट दिस टाइम इट वाज रियली टफ तो आई थिंक वो थोड़ी सी डिप्रेसिव स्टेट में फिर मैंने अपने ड्राइवर साहब इंदर साहब हुआ करते थे 
उनको बोला मैंने कहा चल बीच में आई थिंक उन्होंने सड़कें खोल दी थी कि तीन चार महीने बाद यू कैन ट्रैवल अ लिटिल बिट तो मैं यहाँ से गाड़ी लेके निकल गया और मैं और इंदर उसने पूछा भाई सब कहाँ जाना है मैंने कहा साउथ तीन चार महीने लगा के हम पहुंच अलेक्सेंडर ग्रेट के समान नहीं नहीं वैसा नहीं बड़ी बुरी हालत थी यार रास्ते में कहाँ रुक रहे हैं क्या खा रहे हैं किस दोस्त के पास कोविड भी हो रहा है वो भी हो रहा है Mm. I'm glad I did it, but the idea was not to discover India. The idea was to get out of the house. But mm. the moment I reached the roads and I saw who I was staying with, लोगों ने पिछले कई महीनों से ढंग से घर नहीं चलाया, खाने को नहीं है लोगों के पास, रहने को नहीं है, दवा दारू तो क्या है? ऊपर से हमारी सरकार का स्ट्रक्चर भी ऐसा है, कुछ सच है, कुछ झूठ है, कुछ मतलब only when you hit the road you realize how privileged we are and the kind of bubble we live in. मतलब मुझे लगता है मैं बड़ा महान हूँ यार ना देहरादून आके इतने सारे यू नो सौ डेढ़ सौ लोगों की जिंदगी में हमने थोड़ी बहुत शिरकत की है इन्वेस्टमेंट की है बट सड़क पे निकल के रियलाइज होता है कि जिसके घर में मैं और इंदर रुके थे मुझे याद है हम्पी के पास दे वर सो ग्रेशियस टू अस बट दे वर ओनली हैविंग कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स उनके पास सिर्फ चावल था और कुछ कॉन्डिमेंट था मिर्च चटनी इमली टाइप मैंने कहा एक दिन हो गया दो दिन हो गया हाउ आर सवाई नहीं नो वंडर देयर हेल्थ इज सो गाय देन यू गेट फ्रेंडली विद देम एंड यू आस्क देम कि हो कैसे रहा है यू रियलाइज यार उनके पास महीने के तीन साढ़े तीन हजार रुपए हैं यार पूरे परिवार के पास ट्वेंटी फाइव बक्स अ डे पर हेड मेरी दारू से ज्यादा की आती है तो यू कॉन्ट नाउ शट यू आइस तो यू नो आई थिंक ओवर दो मंथ वेन आई ट्रेवल साउथ देन आई केम बैक देन आई वेन टू राजस्थान फिर विद अनदर फ्रेंड आई वेंट टू नॉर्थ ईस्ट विच वॉज लेटर सेकेंड वेव के बाद बीच में मुझे कोविड हुआ तो एनी वे दिस होल टाइम आई थिंक मेरे थोड़े से शॉर्ट सर्किट हुए एंड सो आई वॉज सारी का उज माई यंगर सिस्टर ऑल्सो पार्ट मेर इन द कंपनी उसको मैंने बोला यार मैं अब वापस कोविड जब खुलेगा तो मैं फिर बी एम डब्ल्यू और ऑडी और इन सब की फिल्में बनाऊंगा and i have nothing against them right the great cars and great product but does india need another 1 crore car or should i apply whatever skills i have and whatever life is left to saying can i get people who are privileged to connect with people who need them and create a way by which we can increase philanthropy or i know these are cliche mm. words and mm. all badi badi terms hai but mere dimag mein chal raha tha ki connect kaise karu because usse pehle kya hua tha ki mere kuch nazm mein when i send people listen then you know they'll go viral and i thought yaar ye bahut powerful hai maybe i can create a system in which we create stories and put it out take them to schools take them to corporate wherever young are and we will be able to create a platform so really the jain project is about giving india better role models hmm. our, our our hope is ke virat kohli bahut sahi cricketer hai yaar woh bahut sahi hai but is another 2000 virat kohli is the answer to what mm-hmm. india needs uh, are 50 more unicorns i'm sure economically bilkul theek and i'm i'm really mm-hmm. i would really want to see people coming out of poverty for which economics is immensely important but who's going to then go to the gaon who's going to become social worker who's going bachcho se jaake puchta hu aaj ke school mein kya banna chahte ho can you imagine for the last seven schools not one guy has said i want to become a teacher एंड वेन यू गो डीप यू से बिकॉज सर टीचर्स को पैसे तो मिलते नहीं है टीचर्स सर ट्यूशन पढ़ा पढ़ा के तो आर वी सेंडिंग आर बेस्ट टू वेयर द कंट्री रिक्वायर्स इट और आर वी सेंडिंग आर बेस्ट टू वेयर द मोस्ट मनी इज सो आई थिंक कैपिटलिज्म के ये नुकसान तो है कि हर एक की एक्सपेक्टेशन ये कि वेल्थी बनना है पॉपुलर बनना है फेम चाहिए वो चाहिए एंड वी ऑल नो के बाद में यू नो रिटायर होने के बाद बहुत सारे लोग बोलते हैं आई लाइक टू डू समथिंग फॉर सोसाइटी मैंने यहां बट तू 25 से लेकर 60 के बीच में क्यों नहीं कर रहा भाई hmm. 60 के बाद क्योंकि तेरे पैसे आ गए तो यू वांट टू नाउ से यू आई लाइक या या श्योर बट वी नीड टू बी अ कंट्री ऑफ गिवर्स वी नीड टू हैव अ कल्चर मतलब जैसे मंदिरों में जाके देते हैं गुरुद्वारों में जाके देते हैं वो आस्क पीपल अराउंड आई थिंक 10% के करीब होंगे जो कि ठीक सा अमाउंट देते हैं एंड दिस होल आईडिया ऑफ being charitable i think is so wrong we are not doing charity it is almost ab ab mai jis mohalle se nikla hu mai jis school se nikla hu maine hindustan mein subsidized education ki hai to mai ab isko leke kahan chala jaau mai bahar chala jata mera lifestyle theek ho jayega 
और फिर मैं वहां से किसी अच्छी सी संस्था को पकड़ के बोलूंगा वाई आई कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट हंड्रेड थाउजेंड एवरी ईयर टू ये आई अंडरस्टैंड बट वो जो सो वॉट इज आर रिलेशनशिप विद आर कंट्री और एटलीस्ट फ्रॉम वेयर यू केम वट एवर यू कॉल यूर आई एम नॉट यून कंसर्न अबाउट बाउंड्रीज एंड पीपल थिंक लाइक वर्ल्ड सिटीजन एंड श्योर दे थिंक ऑफ दर्थ हैज वॉट इज गिवन दैन बट इज देयर समथिंग वी ओ बैक टू सोसाइटी टू अर्थ टू वो जो एक कशमकश है ना वो मुझे नहीं पता कैसे सॉल्व होगी लेकिन मुझे ये पता है कि मैं फिल्में बना सकता हूँ और अगर मोटा मोटा मैं ये भी स्ट्रक्चर बना दू तो एक लाइफ टाइम में और क्या करेगा यार And I think there is a two-pronged approach in my mind, or at least the solution lies in these two. One is we came from an empathetic society. Hmm. एक दो generation पहले ही तुम देख रहे हो जो हमारी family structures थे जो पड़ोसी पड़ोसी को जानता है उसके घर में कुछ हो रहा है. You know, just more empathy. I don't want to define yes. it too finely. Empathy uh, and tolerance also, I would say. I would throw. Yeah, it's, I guess it, it, yeah, it's connected. Yeah, tolerance it's connected. is a byproduct. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Correct. If if you Correct. can feel what the other guy is feeling. एक मुसलमान औरत का दर्द अगर एक हिंदू औरत समझ सकती है तो वो एम्पथी है बट दैट ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएट्स टॉलरेंस ट्रू 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 तो द रीजन एनीवे सो एम्पथी इज इन एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट सो वन ऑफ माय थिंग्स इज व्हाई डज एम्पथी गो डाउन बिकॉज यू डोंट इवन हैव अ व्यू ऑफ अनदर पर्सन लाइफ तो अगर तू फ्लैट में रह रहा है और तू ए गाड़ी में जाता है और फिर ऑफिस जाता है तो तू तीन चार बबल में एग्जिस्ट करता है उस बबल के बाहर का याद ही नहीं है जब मिक्स सोसाइटीज होती थी कि एक लाला रईस भी उसी मोहल्ले में रहता है गरीब भी उसी मोहल्ले में रहता है टीचर भी उसी मोहल्ले में रहता है और उनके पास ऑप्शन भी नहीं है सो दे हैव टू फिगर आउट अ कल्चरल एंड यू नो कम्युनिटी कॉन्स्ट्रक्ट जिसको हमारे यहाँ तो तंदूर बोलते हैं तो बड़ा अच्छा होता है उसमें सब आते हैं क्योंकि हर एक को थोड़ा थोड़ा बचाना था रिसेंटली सो वीडियो ऑफ योर्स व्हिच टॉक्स अबाउट डे इन लाइफ ऑफ अ टेलर इन वन ऑफ द टाउन्स राइट आई फॉरगेट व्हिच टाउन राइट अ स्मॉल टाउन एंड आई वाज टॉकिंग हां इट यू राइट आई थिंक यू you just used to a certain rhythm and you look at the life and you just yeah. you realize you're so far removed yeah. from that life that even yeah. seeing it yeah. you know yeah. uh, it just sort of stayed with me if i may right in yeah. this context yeah to yeah. so, so right now we are doing two uh, kinds of content one is introduce people to other people in mm-hmm. india mein naturally thoda in brackets bolte hain ki india ko bharat se introduce karo and bharat being the underprivileged and india being the more privileged and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. english speaking or whatever or whoever mm-hmm. has the money or whoever has the means to be able mm-hmm. to you know impact mm-hmm. bharat so we are doing this series called a day in the life of bharat jisme hum regular matlab sapi bai adivasi farmer a uh, rag picker a tailor a mm-hmm. dhobi you know these are mm-hmm. people that we grew up with aur hamari generation ko at least yaad hai मुझे नहीं लगता कि बच्चों को पता होगा कि इनकी लाइफ कैसी होती है आपने देखा ही एनीवे सो दैट्स वन एंड द इंपैक्ट वी वांट टू सी इज दैट व्हेन यू नो हाउ अदर पीपल लिव व्हेन यू आर मोर एम्पथेटिक यू जेनली वांट टू कंट्रीब्यूट मोर एंड दैट्स दैट्स रिसर्च राइट वी वी नो व्हाई सम पीपल आर मोर गिविंग बिकॉज दे मोर एम्पथेटिक सो इफ देर इज एम्पथी फॉलोइंग देन कैन यू क्रिएट अ काउंटर नेरेटिव टू से how do you increase empathy it's, it's so a bit like you things, you taking uh, the jeep and meeting these people right when you met them it exposed them, you to a certain yeah, only yeah. then so in a way yeah, we need to make that more accessible right uh, not everybody is going to take a jeep and travel thousands of kilometers you you're exactly right actually that's the paradigm i mean can i bring those people to your screens because mm-hmm. you're not going to travel so much you're not going to go ab mm-hmm. nagaland mein ek padri hai wo roz subah jata hai और वो अपने दो कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग चर्चेस को इकट्ठा करता है उनको बताता है वो आसपास की जो ट्राइबल कम्युनिटीज है उनको समझाता है uh, उसकी स्टोरी आप तक कैसे पहुंचेगी या वो जो पेड़ पे चढ़ के नारियल तोड़ता है उसके बाद वो क्या करता है तो दीज आर एक्चुअल इंडियंस और इसको ना हमने रोमांटिसाइज कर दिया इनक्रेडिबल इंडिया उसमें शक्लें दिखाते हैं ऊपर चढ़ बट भाई उसकी लाइफ तक को पता है क्या है इंडिया में अगर दस रुपए भी नहीं कमा सकते अस्सी लोग तो भाई कहाँ से खरीदेगा मेडिकल सिचुएशन ये है कि जो मेरे यहाँ काम करता है लड़का वो भी उसी डॉक्टर के पास जाता है क्योंकि दूसरा डॉक्टर अवेलेबल नहीं है सरकारी उसके ऊपर इतनी लंबी लाइन है कि वो उसकी अगर बीवी को इमरजेंसी है तो ले जा ही नहीं सकता सो ही एंड्स अप गोइंग 
a doctor who charges 1100 rupees i also go to the same doctor but 1100 rupees out of 15000 rupees is whatever 7 6 7% of his monthly salary uske baad wo dawai lega to if he spent 20 25% of his monthly salary on his wife's zukam khasi you know wala package to kya kaise karenge yaar to either we and honestly i don't have all the answers but mujhe mota mota ye samajh mein aa raha hai ki yaar there are brilliant minds across india abhi kali uh, you know there is this uh, senior and friend of mine called ravi rana he runs this organization called concentrix 80000 people across india he actually called all his 90 100 uh, you know leaders from across india so i i had five or six different board rooms from across india on the zoom call and uh, he he then told them about jain project and he said jain project already vet kar raha hai they are making films and they are creating a platform instead of us constantly saying ab hum csr kis pe lagaye why don't we uh, you know look at the jain project and pick two or three of those heroes and go after them so i'm saying mm. i can now start to see ke iske impact actually picture kya hogi for example now i know that i can go and tell other people ke yeah yeah you can you can pick up our heroes and help hmm and in a way the the, the nature of such hmm. move if i may call this hmm. a movement right this is not a i, I hope so. not yeah, a, yeah 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 so yeah. in a way how that plays out only time will tell right in a way you're sort of absolutely uh, uh, the possibilities are uh, tremendous you were actually yeah. i want to go back you were beginning to talk about two things when you spoke about the vision you said uh, do tarikon se dekha ja sakta hai and you started talking about one was there another piece you were talking to pehla to tha ke we have to save empathy within our community and we know what it used to look like so it will be easier for us to go back hmm. the second is if i give you role models other than what the typical media is constantly for example main yahan se jab delhi jata hu and ek din baith ke maine na wo likha ki jitne hoarding lage hain us pe kaun hai 100% of the time these guys are bollywood or cricket that's it and they are selling real estate they are selling pan masala pan they are selling shooting certing they are selling tail they are selling sabun so what are we telling our boys and girls we are basically saying ye hai inki baat suno to agar cricketer aur bollywood aur shukra ki abhi politician you know hamare kya naam hai holdings pe nahi lage the i mean is this is this uh, you know what we worship in india hmm iska matlab kya hai fame and money मतलब बीच में किसी ने कहा देखिए लेकिन विराट कोहली कम से कम देखो पान मसाले का तो वो नहीं करता ना मैंने कहा हाँ नहीं करता लेकिन वो पेप्सी बेचता है प्रॉब्लम वो नहीं है मतलब हमें हमें अंदाजा ही नहीं है कि एक हीरो का एक हीरो होता क्या है एक सोशल हीरो क्या होता है तुम्हारी लाइफ में क्या इम्पैक्ट है यार अगर वो अच्छा क्रिकेट खेल रहा है वो तेरे पास आके क्या तेरे घर में कोई स्कूल बना रहा है क्या तो एनीवे anyway, मैं बेचारे विराट कोहली जाना चाहता डेफिनेशन है ना कि सोशल हीरो कौन होना चाहिए सोशल हीरो वो बहुत जिसने अपने आसपास एक सोशल प्रॉब्लम देखी भाई हमारे उसने चार हजार बच्चों को सड़क से उठा के यार एजुकेट कर दिया उसके स्कूल से बच्चे निकल के यूनिवर्सिटी जा रहे हैं देर इज समी इज वर्किंग ऑन वॉटर देर समी इज वर्किंग ऑन पॉवर्टी देर समी इज वर्किंग ऑन मैल न्यूट्रिशन ये रियल प्रॉब्लम है और जब तक ये सॉल्व करने के लिए लोग आगे नहीं जाएंगे हम कैसे करेंगे staying relevant right i think uh, one thing that strikes me when i look at you is in a way you've not you've, you're not stuck to one identity very often i see people in the professional circles that you say yaar i am a kya bolte hai i am an investment banker i am a consultant mm-hmm. uh, or i am a consumer goods professional then that sort of limits who you are in a way when i look at you you started with hotel mm-hmm. management you moved into sales you moved into hr you moved into communications you kept the song thing going now you're uh, sort of driving the social uh, movement you be you sort of you do poetry so i'd love to understand what's you know how do you how have you evolved you know uh, what are you curious about how what's your if you had to be modest how do you grow <laughs> as a, as a person mm. um ग्रोथ की परिभाषा अलग अलग लोगों की अलग अलग है तो मैं अपनी डेफिनेशन के हिसाब से ही बता सकता हूं तो सेल्फ अवेयरनेस 
to me is the biggest growth. Investing in that one question, hmm. uh, my basic values, hai kya, core values, hai kya? what is it that drives me? Am I living as close and as high integrity a life? Am I aware of my own hypocrisies? Am I aware of what really drives me? I think that question is not going to be We are constantly in conflict with We are constantly in conflict with We are constantly in conflict with it. We are constantly in conflict with it. We are constantly in conflict with it. We are being able to identify it in you know a way which you can really tick and say okay this is what i stand for this is what you know my belief system is this is where my values are and once you know that i think it becomes easier for you to then choose partners and friends and choices in terms of what i want to do in the evening what i want to read what it's just so is clarifying it. so clarifying yeah, at many levels right? absolutely absolutely and what's been your if i may persist panchi mm-hmm. what's been your approach of Becoming self-aware, how have you, what has worked for you? I think I haven't given up on relationships and friends who were very tough on me. Hmm. In fact, um, some of the people who have been my teachers are the ones that were the most ruthless to me. Um, My father, my sister, my now partner, my daughter, some of my closest friends. Um, <clears throat> the amount of time I've spent with them just discussing who we are, what do you think are things that you know I might really be doing right or wrong. It's a pura feedback mechanism in a very safe space. Mm. Uh, it makes you think, right? And then whether you then do something about it or not is up to you. But just so, being open to Constantly hearing from people in a safe space where they are safe to tell you that. Now, uske baad tumhe pasand aaye na ek alag cheez hai. Tum usko change kar sako, karna chaho ek alag cheez hai. To zehn mein to ghus jata hai. Haan. Zehn mein ghus jata hai. Hmm. Oh, then you start avoiding certain things. Then you know ke chha yaha better kam karega nahi karega. And just being curious, I think, just trying hmm. new things, hmm. not worrying too much about. Arey, dunia ye kahegi. ये लोग कहेंगे ये हो गया तो मेरी क्रेडिबिलिटी हो जाएगी रिस्क तो लेना पड़ेगा यार मतलब टीनेजिश अगर तुम ज़हन में रखते हो अपनी वो स्पिरिट तो बहुत ज़्यादा गलत क्या हो जाएगा यार नुकसान हो जाएगा एक अच्छी स्ट्राइक नहीं होगा पर जो फियर ऑफ़ फेलियर है द फियर ऑफ़ माय सोशल आइडेंटिटी बीइंग क्वेश्चन Oh, tum bhi insan. Oh, come on. How can you be perfect all the time? Yeah? How can you be someone who's never made mistakes and you've never had relationship sure. problems and your life has always been right? So this whole image management, this whole virtue signaling that is happening on social media, we all see all of this, but how much do you need to participate in it? How much do you need to add it? vulnerability, authenticity, transparency ko kya hume sirf ghar ke andar rakhna hai ya do dosto ke beech mein rakhna hai ya honestly a lot of people when they say ke yaar aap to wahi bolte ho jo aapko zehn mein hota hai nahi nahi main sab nahi bolta kafi kuch bolta abhi bhi kuch kuch hai jo mere ko bolte pe bada dar lagta hai ki yaar ye kahenge yaar ye is tarah ka shakhs hai matlab galti hum sab ne ki yaar hum isko doot ka dhula kaun hai par thoda sa courage dikhao but you realize that the moment you start doing that, there is a whole different breed of people who start liking you. Hmm. For the fact that you were courageous. I'm not saying that. It's not just an experiment. I put it in, but I put it in and I put it in. I regret it the next time. It's a bit like the movie scene that comes to mind. Is, I don't know if you've seen the movie Forrest Gump. Oh, oh, that, uh, that guy goes yeah. for a run and suddenly yeah. you know uh, oh, generally he just starts yeah, running yeah, and at some point yeah. says, yeah, you're an inspiration and I want to follow you. <laughs> so you're going to run back. So yeah, I and he stops and fascinating. Then, <laughs> <laughs> time to go home. No, but I, it's such a simplistic scene, but I think it's quite profound. I mean, I do think when you show up in a certain way, you attract mm-hmm. a certain tribe, right? And the tribe uh, and the tribe grows over time. Um, just wrapping up, we need a couple of mm-hmm. questions, right? Uh, mm-hmm. One is, you know, as you know, 
in the context of this notion flavor that I sort of talk about mm. in the book, mm. I realize that we can't have it all all the time, right? Clearly, you know, there's family, there's love, aspiration, uh, sort of investing, understanding ourselves, uh, uh, relationships, and so on. Um, where have you found attention? And I realize that sometimes we prioritize one thing and let go of something else. You spoke uh, along the way saying here, you sort of committed to what, what you were passionate about, what you loved. And it, it took mm -hmm. a toll on some of the dimensions like family, relationships, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But any other places where you feel the tension when you look look at your journey and look at the people around you, any any thoughts in terms of just uh, managing I, that tension? Um, I think one of the curses of being passionate is that you start to believe that in the hierarchy of things that you have to do in life, your passion is right at the top. Mm. And I think that is something we need to tweak a little bit. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> I think I've started to now see the importance of relationships, passion, health as a wholesome picture mm. rather than one being more important. Mm. Uh, so when you're passionate, it's so important to find other passionate people to be in partnership, whether it's your romantic partners or you know other people in the company or you know those kind of things. So that I I think is immensely important. Only a passionate mm. person understands why you do what you do. Mm. So that's one. And now, luckily, I have a new partner who understands that. The second is your investment in relationships and your investment in making sure that your partner is succeeding also. Mm. So that selfishness that we believe that because my passion is so I owe it to myself only and the world owes it to me because passionate people see how little they are. No, no, brother. Who has done anything today, he is passionate. So you don't think that you are a unique person. Everyone is Everyone is passionate in their own way. So, this is my partner. Hai, uh, she has this beautiful model called PIC. Hmm. Uh, partnership, Intimacy, Companionship. How does a relationship really thrive? And hmm. partnership is very simply defined as are you invested in the other person's growth? Hmm. Are you being a good partner? Hmm. Intimacy is are you safe with that person or in that environment? Can you be yourself hmm. in that environment? Hmm. Not just physically. You know, the intimacy of the mind and heart. Uh, I, I don't have to pretend. And companionship is do you actually do things together which both of you enjoy, which hmm. brings you together, which creates a space in which you can come together? So I think that is one of my biggest learnings. And I've started to apply that with not just romantic partners, but other people hmm. that I partner with. So when I now go to an organization, my question is not just Meri film achhi kaise ban jaye. I'm mm. also in my mind asking, kya meri film se inko volunteer milenge? Kya meri film inko, you know, kahi se koi support degi? Am I really thinking in terms of benefiting who I'm partnering with rather than, you know, to wo thoda mera paradigm change hua hai. Um, and I think itni simple hai life aur humne itni complicate ki hui hai. <laughs> ke, if I can just stick to those two or three things, very uh, yeah, Lovely, Lovely. Yeah. Vineet, as we wrap up, uh, first of all, thanks for such a wonderful, free-flowing, honest and an energizing no, Thank you. Thank you, Deepak. Yeah. Uh, I think I was telling somebody what's different with this series is I'm talking to friends and people who I know well as compared to a podcast, which is typically with a stranger. So the, mm -hmm. so that the intimacy, to use your word, um, mm -hmm. uh, is very different. Uh, as we wrap up the the intent for this book and even the work I do uh, Panchi is to help people play to their full potential right uh, mm -hmm. lead a full life what have you learned about you know uh, leading a full life playing to full potential <laughs> I'm sort of using them interchangeably uh, but uh, mm -hmm. I see you as uh, somebody who's leading a full and an authentic life uh, what what would be your take on that if you don't yes. mind. Uh, uh -huh. uh, and because I've really started to connect with them at a core level. The ability to have conversations between warring parties, between the government and people, between countries, between relationships, between you know spouses, 
वो बहुत जरूरी है फ्री फ्लोइंग ट्रांसपेरेंट ऑथेंटिक कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड कॉन्वर्सेशन डजेंट मीन कि हम बातचीत ही करें कॉन्वर्सेशन मतलब बींग ओपन मुश्किल को समझने का तरीका निकल आता तुम बात तो करते सो दी ऑपरेटिंग टाइम तुम बात तो करते Hmm. And your earlier point, I think, creating the yeah. spaces, right, for having these, yeah. to Absolutely. enable these conversations. Absolutely. And in this circle, me, that for me, a friend was just enough. For me, a friend was just enough. As I thought, it was just enough. It was just enough. If you are high integrity, you are high integrity. 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 तो देन देन यू कैन को रिलेट किया यार ये इस इस स्पेस में ठीक है जैसा तुझे सोचा था तो वैसा निकला था या जैसा तूने कहा था तो वैसा निकला और तीसरा क्यों प्यास की शिद्दत को बढ़ाया नहीं तुमने क्यों इतनी प्यास नहीं रखी क्यों प्यास की शिद्दत को बढ़ाया नहीं तुमने क्योंकि तो तुम्हारे हाथ में क्यों प्यास की शिद्दत को बढ़ाया नहीं तुमने दरिया भी अगर मांगते दरिया निकला था क्या बात है कौन करेगा कहां से आएगा और कौन जिम्मेदार है तुम्हारी जिंदगी के लिए तो ये मेरी तीन चीजें हैं पहली स्टे ओपन कीप टॉकिंग टू पीपल ट्रांसपेरेंटली स्टे ऑथेंटिक योर सेल्फ और तीसरा यार कोई और आके तो तुम्हारे लिए करेगा नहीं तुम्हें अपनी प्यास खुद बढ़ानी पड़ेगी और रिस्क लो करो बाकी लोगों को इन्वॉल्व करो ट्राई बनाओ अपने आप चीजें हो जाती है मैंने तो आज तक यही देखा लवली This is a wonderful place to wrap, Panchi. Thank you so much. Oh, mm. no, thank you, uh, Deepak. For making the thank time for, for such an energizing time. conversation. बहुत ही अच्छा बात है. मजा आ गया. चल मिलते हैं दोबारा. Love you. चलिए. This. It's fascinating how one single quote can transform a life. I love what Vinit says about how he was inspired by Matt Langdon's quote: "The opposite of a hero is not a villain; it's a bystander." Personally. When I go back in 2015, it was a conversation with a friend of mine. I was at Egon Zender. I was doing executive search. Well, I was doing okay. I wasn't really enjoying the profession, and I felt it wasn't giving me energy. My friend looked at me and said, "That seems to make sense. You seem to have more of a coaching mindset than a poaching mindset." To me, that one line, I would say, has set off a chain reaction, which led to my podcast, the coaching work, and now the book. Vinith is one of the six people we've profiled as part of the Flavorful Life series. If you found this conversation of value, do check out the other five. If you want tactical inputs on how we deal with various identities, how we ensure that we're not shackled by the past and rediscover our flavor as we go through life, do consider picking up the book Play to Potential, which is available in all usual channels. The link in the description section below has details around where you can buy the book. Thank you for listening.